nature. Five common misconceptions about bunny rabbits. Number one, bunnies are happy on their own in a hutch. Now bunnies can live indoors or outdoors, but their living space should be about six foot by two foot and have enough room for them to stand up on their hind legs and hop around. And most bunnies like having a partner. Number two, they can eat lots of carrots. Now carrots are a favorite for rabbits, but they are very sweet, so should only be given occasionally. It would be the same as a human eating a giant chocolate bar every single day. Number three, hay is just for the rabbit's bedding. Now rabbits do love hay and straw, and these can be used for bedding. But there also needs to be an unlimited supply of hay available for the bunny to eat any time during the day. Their diet should be about 80% hay, and they won't eat the old stuff, so they'll need fresh hay daily. Number four, bunnies can't be litter trained. We'll just take a look at Lola. She goes in a litter tray like a cat would and doesn't leave a mess around the house. Number five, rabbits aren't very clever. Rabbits are very sensitive and very clever creatures with their own personalities. They can even learn tricks. What should a rabbit house look like? Well, these can be indoors or outdoors, but it should be big enough for them to have a run around. It should have enrichment toys. These could be sticks, balls or tunnels. They need fresh water and hay at all times. Some people like to use bowls and some people like to use bottles. Some rabbits like to have different levels to play on as well, but make sure they won't hurt themselves by falling off of it. Rabbits are prey animals, so they need some places where they can hide and feel safe. It's really important you include some items that the rabbit can chew on, like sticks or wooden balls, because rabbit's teeth continue to grow throughout their whole lifetime, so if they don't have something to chew on, their teeth might become overgrown and that might hurt them. Bunny behaviour. Bunnies can't talk, but they communicate a lot with their bodies. Some typical happy bunny behaviours are a binky. This is a big jump into the air where they twist their bodies and flick their heads. This means that they're very excited. A flop. They suddenly flop onto the floor on their side or their back. This means they're very relaxed. Zooming running really fast, often in circles. If the rabbit isn't being chased, this is often the rabbit playing and burning off some of that energy. Exploring. When there's something new in the area, they'll lift their heads up and down whilst approaching the new thing. This just means they're curious. Some behaviors of an unhappy bunny. Stomping or thumping. A stomp is when a rabbit thumps their back foot on the floor and it makes a really loud bang. In the wild, this is for warning other rabbits about danger. So it can mean that they're upset, scared, angry or grumpy. Growling. If your bunny growls or snarls, it needs some space and might not like what's being done to it. Signs a rabbit might be sick. Rabbits are very good at hiding illnesses, so keep an eye out for if they stop eating or drinking. If they have a limp or if they're pushing their tummy into the ground. Or if they don't seem like their usual selves. This is when you should take them to a vet. Rabbits love their human companions, but as they're prey animals, they can be cautious at first. But if you spend time with them every day, they'll start getting more comfortable. Bunnies are crepuscular. This means they're most active at sunrise and sunset. So, if you're going to play with and bond with your bunny, the best times to do this are first thing in the morning or in the evening just before the sun sets. Some bunnies really enjoy cuddles, but most don't like being picked up. So the best way to get a bunny's affection is by gently approaching them at floor level and maybe offering them a treat. Bunnies all have really different personalities, so you need to take time getting to know what your bunny's like. This bunny is very cuddly, but also very naughty. Some bunnies are quite naughty, some bunnies are very lazy, some bunnies like to play and some bunnies like being left alone. You just need to spend time getting to know what your bunny likes. A rabbit's diet can be tricky to get right. A rabbit should be eating mostly hay, but they can have a small amount of pellets, vegetables and herbs during the day. Try and avoid muesli rabbit mixes. Even though they look tastier to us than the pellets, the pellets mean the rabbits can't pick and choose what nutrients they get. Some good veg to feed them include celery, cucumber and kale, and they like most herbs, 
but double check which ones are safe. They can have fruit as an occasional treat. If you have any questions about how to look after your bunny properly, visit the RWAF website, that's the Rabbit Welfare Association and Funds, and they'll tell you everything you need to know about bunny care.